Hi everyone! So today I thought I would try something that probably everyone saw uh, on Facebook, that video, uh, the genius idea. Um, the person is using a sink strainer, not exactly like this one, but I think this one will give pretty much the same result. And I am going to try that my own way, with fluorescent colors, of course. And for that, I mix my paints the usual way. About 50-50 paint medium, so equal part paint to medium, and then I add 25% water. 25% is about a quarter of uh, the mix I have. I check about that and I add a quarter water. Ah, that rhymes. <laughs> but yeah, 25%. And uh, I mixed only fluorescent paints. Uh, I think it's going to be quite interesting. I also mixed a little bit of orange in my yellow because I really like the glow it gives under the black light when the yellow is mixed with a little bit of orange. Yellow alone will glow green, but yellow with a little bit of orange glows a uh, rich yellow and I really, really enjoy that. So, uh, let's get started with that and uh, we'll zoom you in. Alright, so... I have only fluorescent colors. I have pink, orange, red, blue, yellow, and green. And I want my painting to contrast. So I'm not going to pour the red, pink, and orange close together. I'm going to space them out with another color. So I will start with pink. And then green. And then red. And then blue.
and that's all my colors and I think I will have to tilt it a little bit just to cover the whole canvas and not have all too thick of a coat of paint we'll bring it back center like this and now I will cover my sides and give you a time lapse All right, so this turned out uh, pretty cool. Um, did not quite expect that. I expected more the, of the same result as I saw in the, well, probably all of us saw in that video. And um, I got something completely different uh, because I didn't use it exactly the same uh, type of strainer, I guess. And mine has a a pad, a rubber pad, and the paint would just sit on there and drip down, as you can see. All those are drips that drip, 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 and created a whole bunch of cool details. And I think that this is going to look insane under the black light, like totally insane. <laughs> I can find a better word because all those details, all those little lines, it's all going to glow, it's all fluorescent colors, so it's going to be really, really bright and full of cool details with those little lines, the drips that created that. And here in the pink, there's some green details, it's super cool. I love it. I seriously love it. I think this is uh, a cool discovery with this uh, type of strainer. Yeah, uh, I'll need another type of strainer to get the, the result they got in that Facebook video. But I think that um, this result is pretty cool too. And I quite like it. And uh, I'll have to try that again with different color combination, different size of canvas. Uh, I think it's going to be really nice. And we're back. And I have to say that I'm a really happy painter. Super colorful, full of details, and something that is going to look completely nuts under the black light. Uh, I will probably post the pictures in the next video because I'm not sure it will dry in time for uh, the video or for me to post the video and uh, all that stuff, you know. But uh, I will post the picture in the next video or on my Facebook page or Twitter. I usually post my paintings there. So if you want to check that out, the links are in the description below. I also have a group and I really enjoy seeing all of your artwork, uh, everyone sharing together. I love it. So uh, if you want to join, make sure to join that as well. I would be happy to have you and see your artwork. So yeah, that's about it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!